<laughs> All right, we just did um, the first assignment. And in the first assignment, all we did is just um, <clears throat> create an array list of 100 elements with uh, the value of the content of each element between one and a thousand. Uh, as a good practice, we take the first two elements of the array and the difference to define that as the smallest. And then we have a whole bunch of variables over there that will help us with the final message. And uh, here is the, the code. This code should remind you of should remind of closest pairs with arrays. All right, <clears throat> so here's the code, and here is the nice message that is broken down right here. So it goes, the, list, the rest of it goes to the next line. Here's the output as part of it. You can put it here or all the way at the end. And now we're doing second uh, assignment number two. Assignment number two, uh, what are we looking for the largest, right? So once again, as a good, practice is to have um, the first element as the largest and then we went through the whole array we traversed the array and whenever we get something from the array we started from one or zero because we already have it although it wouldn't matter right because certainly uh, whatever value is in here is not going to be largest or whatever is there already in the next one mm, i mean in the first one so if it is in fact um, larger than whatever I had before, then I'm gonna assign it to largest. And in the end, all I do is just print it. We can compile this, make sure that works. And I have a problem here. What does it say? Illegal start of type. And purchase enables us. You guys see any errors in here? Enables. I think you might be forgetting. See, I can't see if it's there. You might be forgetting a colon or like a semicolon in the if statement below that. But I don't know if it would cause an error there. Yeah, sometimes it does point it out to something that like is right there. after the if analyst get. I largest right yeah no there should not be a semicolon here otherwise right. it will go oh. from forever right let me just yeah. bring this it's easier to read if it was right here right there um what is the problem with this illegal start why uh oh uh, am i outside main again am i doing this again yeah i'm outside main Ah, uh, yeah, mamma mia. <laughs> All right, so this is outside main. Okay, let me bring it out. Um, that's, yeah, whenever it says illegal start, I tend to believe that it's not in a method. So keep that in mind. This is a good error to witness somebody else do. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, now we go. Um, so let me clean up the output. And let's run it again. We're gonna get more than what we asked for because they didn't comment out the first one, which is okay, it's not that big deal. There we go. The largest element is 997. Um, so we have that one. Questions on this one? No. All right, let me make sure that, uh, oh wait. I need to put comments over here. As part of my comments, I want to put the output. So I am going to say output for uh, exercises. There you go. Um, let me compile again so I didn't mess anything up. Now we're all inside here. So let me go get this third 
assignment, the third assignment. If it agrees with the message, the average. Okay. So I don't know if you noticed the analogy with the arrays basics. <laughs> All of this you done it in arrays. The only difference now is that we're using array lists. So oh, I'm gonna put it right here. And you know what? I'm gonna give in to just print double. No, I didn't need to do that. Um, so it makes it easier. All right. Anybody has any suggestion on how to do this? No comments, everybody's quiet. Okay, I'm going to take this code because I'm very lazy. Plus, I'm a bad typist. I used to type a little bit better, but I had gotten so bad. I don't know if it has something to do with any old. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say average over here. And I am going to um, put a zero because it doesn't really matter. By the way, in another IDE, you don't need to initialize it. You just kind of declare it without any values. But BlueJ is very insistent on initializing with something. BlueJ is not really a, an IDE to do development, let's say. Um, it's an IDE for educational purposes mostly. So it's kind of enforcing some things that you as a developer might not want to do. Uh, so we do need that loop that goes through everything. And that's why I copy and paste it. And then all I have to do right here then is I don't need this if statement. Because all I'm going to do now is uh, we need one more thing over here, right? The sum. Um, I can make it also equal to zero. There you go. So over here, I'm just going to put some, and I'm going to say plus equal, and that should do it. What do you think? Anybody has any comments? Um, I'm going to say over here, add all elements. Add all elements on the or in the array. In the array list. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, we're gonna divide by what? What would you like to divide by? Where's 100. 100? Right. Yeah, you can do that. Or what would be something more like good practices? Oh, the size. <laughs> yeah, size. And I forgot the S, dang it. Okay, we put the S and this. And now I'm gonna say, um, the average of all the, uh, like I said, I'm pretty bad typers. Well, it doesn't help that some of my keyboards are all over the place. I average of all the elements of this list is blah. And I'm gonna do it right here. Uh, so now we have to be a little bit careful, right? Actually, I'm going to change this. Where would you put it here instead of end? Do you really want the average to be an integer? No? No it comments? Double. A double, yeah. I cannot imagine an, in, an average be actually a, an integer. Where am I? Here. So I'm going to take this sum. I'm going to cast it to double. Oh, I didn't need the average, dang it. Okay, uh, yeah, you could have, okay, so there are two ways to do this, right? You can say double equals to whatever I'm gonna do now, but instead I am going to do this. I'm gonna put a, a casting operator double over here, uh, sum, and then I'm gonna divide it by um, an A list that size. And remember, size is all counting the number of elements, not the space that was allocated when it was created. And I believe I'm missing a uh, parenthesis, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. So I, had, I could have put all of this. Yeah, I could have put all of this into average and then I just print average. 
you can do that like this i hope everybody follows me ah um and that would be if you wanted to make it as an option for some students like to break it up into pieces and if i was going to have a complex a calculation in there i would definitely break it up so i don't make mistakes so i'm going to say um averaged now it's equal to that and there's a microphone there and then you put over here average instead of all of these over here uh, let's compile make sure that i didn't make a mistake and i did am i outside how did i end up outside may i ask <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. This is outrageous. There. I have to remember the yellow. I don't know. I could sort of put it inside. Hello. Okay, let's let me auto layout. Yes, it is inside the yellow now. Oh, this one is not. <laughs> All right, um, one more time. Yes, and let me separate this out of here so I don't make mistakes. Okay, compile, yes. Clean up over here. Oh, there's one more thing I wanna do. So we can see the distinction between all the different outputs. Um, I'm gonna put it right here, backslash N. So it goes to the next line. Otherwise, they are all clumped up together. And where is um, here? That was number three, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do backslash M 3.0. I mean, 3.0. Blah, 3. Point. Okay, compile. And now it should look better than before. Um, what am I doing? Nothing. Yeah. There you go. It's looking good. Uh, let's take a look at the full outputs. So the average of this particular array list is 1649. That's a very interesting number. How is that possible? Oh no, 516, that's better. Yes, because we have numbers between one and a thousand. The average cannot be 16. All right, everybody good? We continue? Uh, the next one. Is there anyone in here that you went over it and you said, oh my God, I don't know how to do that one? Because it's 1046. Um, number four, you print all the numbers from an Elizabeth with a space in one line. Do you know how to do that? Okay. Let's see what the trick is. If you don't answer, I, I presume that you agree with me. That you can do it, whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, am I inside? Oh, I see what the problem is. Sneaky. Okay. Um, yes. Just going to put this over here and that. And now I'm going to say, uh, so I'm going to print it. So I'm going to use again, this, this little jingle babab is very, very useful right here. I'm gonna take this. Come on, come on. Out. Because this is the one that goes to the whole array list. I want this here. There you go. Uh, and See, I have one question. Yeah. Why when you go through that loop, do you set i equal to one from the beginning? No. Did I do that before? And not i equal zero. Uh, no, this should have been zero. Emily, you're always helping me here. Thank you. Right here, too. Always from zero. That's because I copied from, remember the difference between two elements? And I, and I started with the second element. So from now on, I'm going to copy from here. Um, yeah, no, we need to start always from zero. And uh, here's asking to, what does it say? Separate with a space, one space in one line. Okay. So it's actually simple, right? But what do we do? Anybody wants to give me a hint? Yeah. 
Can't you just print them all and like get rid of the LM when you're printing it? Yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna add that space right here. There you go. Do I have enough parentheses? I believe so, yes. That's it. I do need this space. Um, I need a blank line to separate it. So I'm gonna say system. Uh, actually, what was it? Four? Yeah. Four, one space there. All right. I think that should do it. Yeah. Remarkable. Um, right here. There you go. Let's see if I can get to the scroll. So they're all actually separated by one space right there. Okay, next one. Let's go to five. Five it prints the number of Finally, separated by three spaces. In okay, this is the one that everybody always asks for. Let's do this one. This one should remind you of the asterisk problem. Let's go down. Right here. And it's too long, so I'm gonna switch it to another line. There. So we're gonna need two for loops. Uh, and if you guys don't mind me, I already typed it, so I'm gonna just copy and paste over the number five. Yeah. If you haven't thought of anything, watch me. If not, if you have any um, advice or want to make a statement or something, all right. There you go. <laughs> um, let me lay it out better. So uh, this is similar to the ast asterisk assignment. So what's the difference though? Let's take a look. Whenever you have to do uh, rows and columns, always think about two nested for loops. Uh, I cannot imagine not doing it. I mean, you could do it without two nested for loops, but then you will have to really be pretty smart about where you put the backslash and to go to the next line. So, um, let me see. So this is, well, the, print the numbers from there separated by three spaces. There's the printf. Uh, I'm not sure why there is a count over there. What does it count for? Let me think about it. Do we use the count for anything? No. Why do they have that there? There's no reason for the count. Get rid of that. Unuse variable. Um, yeah, we don't need it at all because the count would be only if you were using a while loop, but we have four loops, so we don't need to do that. Here's the trick. Number one, we use the printf, and we use the format. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be left justified, uh, but if you remove the, um, and I will remove it, I like it right justified because I don't think it says printf or the format, when you start, yeah, it doesn't tell you exactly if it's right or left justified. Um, so um, I think I like it better that way. So you have I and J two indices for the for loops, so having the control, and they don't go farther than um, nine because it goes from zero to nine. That makes it ten. And then we have a nice space over here. Sixty is because. And an eight list could have uh, 
what is it, four digits, right? Because it goes from one to a thousand. And so we have to have a little, there are two spaces between the columns in case that you end up with those that are large, like four digits. Uh, I need that print statement that I like so much to tell what assignment this is. So I don't have to go crazy looking for where is assignment number five. And I'll put a five over here. If I could get that keyboard to help me a little bit. Let's compile. I'm allowed to use a backslash. You, where would you put it though? No, because like in your code you use a backslash. Over here? Right here? Yeah, like at the bottom. Uh, uh, you are allowed to do that? Yes. So you need that because after, look, after you counted 10, this, this inner loop, and actually let's put some comment over here. Uh, this inner loop prints sideways. It's printing to this side. And you guys see me uh, as a reflection, so it's going to, to your right like this. Um, so when we can't take 10 of them, we want to go to the next line, right? And that's where this is coming from, right here. Is that the question you were asking, Emily? Yeah. Okay. So then we, we started again all over for, um, so we ended up the first inner loop. So we did the print, the next line, and now we're going back to the second um, iteration of the for loop. And then it starts all over again, printing to the right. Uh, so let's compile it, make sure that I don't have any issues. Uh, I see a problem. What did it say? What was the message? Oh, count. Wait, what does it count for? You have to define count. <gasps> oh, we do need count. I know why. Who, who can, George, why do we need count? Uh, it takes each uh, a number out of the array list, then you print it out. That's right. <laughs> there was a reason for it. I wasn't thinking. Thank you, George. There you go. Right, because remember, the, the four loops, the I and J, they are not there to access the actual elements of the array list. So we need something else that will give that next value. You know, count will be zero, one, two, three, all the way to the end, which will be 99. Um, okay, so now we should have it. Yeah, it should look nice. Uh, that's a, the most common question the students have. I'm glad that we get to that one. There you go. Very nice. Oh, the first one looks ugly, and I know why. Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, I think, Emily, this is what you were saying. Am I right? Yeah. No, I, I was asking about the one in the loop. Oh, okay, okay. Because then we have it all messed up. All right, now we have something good. We when mine prints, Miss Elia, um, the thing that's supposed to format it, the print s. Yeah. I don't know if I like did it wrong, but it looks like it matches. Oh, I put x instead of. Um. What did you do? The percent you, sign. Never mind. I figured it out. Okay. All right. So let's do it with the um uh, left justified. I want to see what it looks like. I've justified and I put two spaces because it was still, and I know why it was giving me a problem, uh, giving too many, too, not enough spaces between the two um, exercises. There you go. Uh, so here you have two options, right, right or left justified, and it looks really cool, you know. Uh, if you use tabs, you will not end up with this because when you have a small number of uh, digits, this is going to be shifted to the, it's going to be shifted a little bit to the, the next tab. So the printf is very useful for this type of exercises. 
Um, what's the next one? Let's see if we can do one more. And let me actually take a quick look at what other assignments the students usually ask. So five is the number one assignment that they all ask for. Um, the replacement you use this set. Um, now, there's a little place that tenth integer. Make sure, and I would like you to make sure that in fact you are replacing the tenth um, integer, right? Um, and the tenth integer in the array list will be a nine. But how does this set work? Let's see. I think I put a note in there because it's kind of confusing. Where is the set? Remove size. Oh my god, there's no set. How did that happen? I knew that I was too short. Yes, uh, when we were doing it on Tuesday. Let's look for the set. Uh, so go back to the, the browser and look for set. We're going to add it there. Uh huh. And so it tells you how it's going, which one is going to replace. I'm gonna put it right here. So it says it replaces the element at the specified position in this list with the specified element. So we really want you to play with that. It's something you can do and it doesn't take any um, Tricky, tr tricky code, what else over here? Um, yeah, um, how do we just replace it? Can I search for it? Okay, the search is easy if you use the contains. That's what uh, May did, instead of going through the full loop looking for it. Um, here, this is something I want you to think about it, uh, because you can do it different ways. And then print the elements of the elements of the release and like this contains. Uh, print the number of elements that's the size so the la whatever is left over is you can handle very well if not you can email me or chat um, now when it comes to the tenth integer it says to remove it so when you remove an element the first tenth right so the next tenth is the one that's kind of shifted right when you remove it so make sure that you um, keep track of the, so if you use a for loop, what should you do to the I? If you use a while loop, it's easy. But if you use a for loop, you have to consider manipulating the I, the index. Because now, uh, if you try to do I uh, modulus 10, for example, right? Um, then it's going to be picking up something different because the for loop is not updated that one of the elements has been removed. So play with that. It won't take you more than five minutes to figure it out. So isolate it if you want to in a small piece of code. If instead of 100 elements, put 10 of them. Oh no, put 20 of them. And that will give you the clue. How's that? Um, I don't think there is anything else that's tricky. Everything else I know you can do it. The one that is the worst is usually this one. And um, we did it. Any questions? No questions, that's good and bad. <laughs> okay, so work on that and contact me if you need to. I'll be available, I'm always available. I don't respond right away only because I'm probably answering other questions to somebody else, like uh, I don't know how many emails I got. So I had to go and take care of that too, but I definitely will answer within a day. Okie dokie? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, it was great to hear from you, even though I don't get to see you, but I don't blame you. It's too early in the morning <laughs> for you. And I guess I will talk to you soon. And I'm hoping that uh, you guys fill in the form to say, when will it be, a, will, it will be a possible to all get together? I'm thinking of uh, uh, putting together uh, um, periods one and five, and that's why I put it one, five, and six. No, one, five, and six. Uh, I thought all the Java students together. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll do it with everybody, I don't know. So uh, just I need times and, uh, and then we'll be good to figure out better, better when we can do this. 
And you don't have to show your faces, you can just show your names if you want to, or put a picture in there like some students do. All right, I'll let you go. Bye. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It was fun. Thank, Bye. Thank you, Ms. Aria. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.